Green Wolf, which allows you squats. You think you're up for this month's on-duty slot? You better keep your nose to the grindstone and your toilet cleaning duty. Make way for the second master. I don't care. You rubbery jelly. You thinking you're worthy of the title, the King of World Assassin? You dream to be a follower of the second master. What a joke. Second master. Second master. The guys inside are fighting again. These cheeky rascals deserve a good spanking. Shut up. As for the position of the second master's follower, I, manslaughter, claim butcher. This is between me and the god who killed him. You want to barge in? Looking for a beating? Who else wants a piece of me? Bow down to the second master. Throw those three troublemakers onto the square. Hang them there for three days and nine. The rest of you rubbernecks will scrub toilets for a month. Are you tired, second master? Have a seat. Sit down. Legion shot. You were once crowned the world's richest man. Just look where you are now. Turned into a lapdog. As long as I'm quick enough in my servitude, nobody would fuss. Moreover, remember how Chow Hei Long used to be? Do we know what happened to him? Legion shot. Good job for showing up. You aren't doing it this month. Thank you, second man. Thank you, second man. Take care, second man. This is one of four kings of the underground world. The king of terror, Big Bad. Assigned by the higher ups for detention here. Anything else? I'm Yu Xiaolong. We were engaged. I'm here to tell you that I'm terminating the engagement. You have no objections, right? I... What opinion can he have? He's only a junior guard in a shitty prison. Compared to our goddess of word in Dasha, General J, he's nothing but trash. I know this is big love for you, but you also saw it. I'm the youngest general star in Dasha. In the future, I can prosper the country in a word. One word is equal to all. Next, I will worship the seven stars of war. Eternal Night Mordek is my teacher. My god is standing on the top of world. But you are just a turtle. A guy who wastes time in a prison. Both of us are not from the same world at all. Yeah. We're not really from the same world. After the fall of the Chi family, you don't even have the guts to walk out from this fucking prison. They say the summer worm cannot see winter. Earth worm in mud, no matter how hard it struggles, cannot turn into a dragon. If you can model eternal night monarch, Shu Wu Dao, being a real man, I will marry you without hesitation. You are not. You're just a loser. Give yourself up. Waste in a quiet corner. What do you have to be my man? As compensation. You can hold this medal and ask me to do three things for you. But I advise you, cherish this opportunity. Because this could be in film numbers chances to turn you over. And you're the king of terror. He must be kept in solitary. Madam Yu is injured because of him. If you are careless, like him out. His one finger can stab you to death. Worship Chu Wu Dao. Interesting. What? My dad found me another wife. I didn't know Master was coming to Shanghai. Your disciple Chu Wu Dao was sorry not to have greeted you earlier. My disciple, you don't need to be too polite. Master, this is a marriage proposal. You should bring some good wine. These two bottles are 50 years old Mu Tai, by the way. Master, you're new to Zhonghai and don't have a place to settle down. This is the key to the most luxurious private villa in Zhonghai, the Yun the Yunding Heaven Palace. I send it to Master as well. Thank you for this thought. Master, not long ago, I received an invitation for the teacher worship banquet. But the first master thinks that Yu Xiaolong is extremely talented. He wants you to train her personally. So he asked me to a princess on your behalf. She's too perverse. She's not worthy of being my apprentice. But Yu Xiaolong has already taught all of Zhonghai. She'll hold a teacher worship banquet in three days. She's making such a big fuss. If you don't agree to her, I'm afraid she'll become the laughing stock of Hua Kingdom. All right then, I'll give her a chance. If she doesn't cherish it, then don't blame me. Master, let me leave first.
You are really a funny guy. You follow General Yu to Zhonghai like a dust in plaster. General Yu has told you that you are not even from the same world. Don't you understand? A firefly is not as bright as the moon. Obviously, he didn't take what I said to his heart. He will know me completely and be ashamed of himself. He will live by himself. Big breasts and no brains. You, General Yu, you captured our boss, Big Beard. If you don't want to die, come with us. Tame him. Do you know that? There's a saying in traditional Chinese: "You will be killed by your enemies at arm's length." What? This little flies scare your knee down. You want to tuck your tail and run away? Let him go. This kind of attack is just like a regular thing for me, but in his world. It's like a wave of terror. You, Xiao Long, when you become my disciple, for an indocile pupil like you, I'll give you a good spanking. Long time no see. Have you really become a jailer? Ah,、uh, bad luck, Mister Chao. I don't agree with this. He's such a loser. He even doesn't deserve to wash my daughter's feet. After all these years, he's still a shitty jailer. First visit to our family, he just brings these two bottles of fake liquor. Auntie Pang, these are fifty-year-old muta. What a big joke! You want to take away Chu Meng, only with two bottles of fake wine? It's too much of a fancy, isn't it? Auntie, look at this. It's a natural wild ginseng worth millions of dollars. Look at this. The once in a century, super best ambergris, and this one is a dream of the Sky River necklace that from a famous French designer. These things are worth twenty million dollars. They are my betrothal gifts for the Chao family. Auntie, are you satisfied? Yes, yes. I'm satisfied. Only the son of John Brewer's day is good enough for our Chiu Meng. Rubbish! Why are you still sitting here? Move your seat for Chao Zhang. Wait a minute, Mr. Zhang. Your love for my daughter, I appreciate it. However. My daughter is already engaged with Mr. Chi. Uncle, Chu Bang's engagement is between you and the Chi family. The Chi family no longer exists, so this engagement, of course, it doesn't count. Besides, as far as I know, the Chao family has always wanted to become one of the top families in Zhonghai, but have no way to do so. Look, this. What's this? This is an invitation of my idol, goddess of war in Hua Kingdom. That's right, Yu Xiaolong, the goddess of war in Hua Kingdom, is going to be the disciple of the Eternal Night Monarch Chu Hu Dao, and a special teacher worship banquet will be held. All the prestigious families from all walks of life in Zhonghai are invited. That's just a negligible invitation. Why are you making such a fuss? You are just a small jailer. You know what? Attendees in this banquet are all famous from Zhonghai. Connected with one or two of, the, of them. The Chi family will be prosperous if Chu Meng is chosen by Lord Chu and become his disciple. He can walk without rules in this country. Uncle, if you are willing to marry Chu Meng to me, this brick to enter the high society of Chao Hai will belong to the Chao family. How dare you tear up General Yu's invitation? You know there are only two such invitations in our Chang family. Chi Dengxian, are you crazy? Dengxian, why are you so impulsive? It's an invitation to the teacher worship banquet of General Yu. It's just a negligible invitation. Chu Wu Dao just gave one to me. Chi Dengxian, can you stop talking big? Do you think you are still the same as before? You are even not qualified to see General Yu. How come an invitation from Lord Chu himself? If you know Lord Chu, would you still work as a jailer in that shitty prison? 
If you can show me an invitation to the teacher worship banquet, I'm willing to spare Chu Meng for you. That's good. Then open your eyes and watch. This is General Yu's handwriting. It's real. It's real? I think you're really stupid. You can't even fake it. General Yu only sent out three black gold invitations. They were all for the most honorable people. You little prison guard, who are you? All right, Qi Denxian. First, you buy fake wire to fool us. Now you take out a fake invitation. Are you causing us to take this fake invitation to attend General Ru's banquet? That's right. Stop fooling around here. Chu Meng and Mr. Qi's engagement was agreed by his father and me long ago. There's no turning back. Whether there's an invitation to the teacher worship banquet or not, Chu Meng, tomorrow, you must go to the Civil Affairs Bureau to register with Mr. Chi. Mr. Jiang, I'm sorry. Let's go. We're getting married now? Listen, you and I are not in the same level. You are just the second grade jailer. And I'm the president of Charles' company. So? So, I advise you to be more sensible. Do not think that with marriage certificate you can have any inappropriate thoughts about me. When my father allows, we will get divorced right away. What? It's General Yu's teacher worship banquet today. We're going to the teacher worship banquet. Are you taking this fake invitation to General Yu's teacher worship banquet? Aren't you afraid of death? Well, what if it's real? Don't you want to see your idol? Yu Xiaolong's splendor? Thank you all for coming to my apprenticeship ceremony. I'd like to thank you all. General Yu, it's our pleasure, as the honor of the Black Dragon Chamber of Commerce, to attend General Yu's teacher worship ceremony. General Yu, we've been blessed for many lifetimes to see your splendor. That's right, that's right. If not for Eternal Night Morning, such a small rose were not able to attend your apprenticeship banquet. Please wait a minute, everyone. Lord Shu Wu Dao will be here soon. Yes. Ji Deng Xian, how dare you? What a surprise. You really got in here with a fake invitation. What? A fake invitation? This is General Yu's teacher worship banquet. Who dares to be so bold? General Yu is decisive in killing. I'm afraid that from now on, this young couple will have a hard time. General Yu, I'm Chiao Chiu Meng of the Chiao family. You are my friend. Oh, no, no, no. I'm your fan. This is my husband, Qi Denxian. I know him, the loser of defeated Qi family, Qi Denxian. It seems like you've become Chiao family's good son-in-law. This is also a good thing for you. At least, you have no worries about life. Please, don't be so high and mighty. It's none of your business how I'm doing. How dare you! How dare you talk to General Yu like that! Ji Deng Shen, you should kowtow three times and apologize to General Yu, or else we'll kill you in minutes. We Black Dragon Chamber of Commerce promise, if you offend General Yu, there will be no place for you in the whole Zhong Hai in the future. I just don't understand. Such a vain woman. What does she have that makes you lick her boots? Qi Denxian, even though you are my husband, I won't allow you to say that. I will tell you why. I'm a raising general star of Hua Kingdom, and soon I will become a disciple of King of Eternal Night. But you, just a loser of fell Qi family, you attend my banquet through a fake invitation. I win, and you lose. Reality is just the way it is. You know what you look like to me? An idiot. How dare you? Never mind. The strong never cares the weakest common. If you are not going to join them to congregate me, sorry. You are not welcome here. Chao's son-in-law. How dare you talk such nonsense? On the initiation ceremony of General Yu, even though General Yu did nothing, the Chao family will be done one day. <laughs> Qi Deng Shen, I'm wondering. How can you act so aggressive in front of General Yu? You destroyed the Chow's. Uncle Chow treated you well. Don't you feel sorry for him? Huh? That's right! Who do you think you are? Who am I? 
All right, I'll show you. Hey, hey. This is my position. Go back and tell Chu Wu Dao, I do not like Yu Xiaolong, so I decide not to accept her as a disciple. Get out from there. You must be crazy, right? Does he think General Yu is acknowledging him as master? Chi Denxian, the biggest regret in my life is that I obeyed my father to marry you. Chi Denxian, don't take my patience as the indulgence to you. Yanan, take him down. Yes, madam. Here comes seven stars, his majesty, the king of eternal night. Your Majesty. Master. Chi Deng Shan, see His Majesty, kneel down. Well, why should I kneel? Ridiculous! The King presents in person, who sees and kneel down. I dare to kneel. Does he dare to respond? My identity is not easily exposed yet. You shall long, this disciple. I can't afford him. His Majesty? What did you mean? His Majesty wanders around the world. His ideas we can speculate about. Master, this person is ruining the banquet which I prepare for you. I will drive him away now. No need. In the matter of today's teacher worship banquet, I am very dissatisfied. You shall long. You and I have no fate yet. I hope you can take care of yourself in the future. Master. The Eternal Night Monarch, surprisingly, refused General Yu's teacher worship banquet. This news will definitely be the hottest in the Hua Kingdom tomorrow. How come? There must be a misunderstanding. It must be him. It's the behavior of this brat that angered His Majesty. So he didn't accept General Yu as his disciple. Chi Deng Shan, you ruined General Yu's teacher worship banquet. To die is to blame. You must commit suicide quickly for your apology. General Yu, I'm sorry. I shouldn't take him here. He just caused everything on his own. Chi Deng Xian, I will kill you! You used the fake invitation, sneak in my banquet. I kindly let you go. You should be grateful, live secretly. But you are not. And set the seat I prepare for Master. Say, what for you do this? Finest diamond must be cut. You have little achievements, but you're rude and arrogant. No respect for others. Such disassembler. Even if you beg me, I won't take you as an apprentice either. Recklessness! How dare you to speak to General Yu like this? What do you think you are? Chi Deng Xian, shut up! If you die here, how can I explain to my dad? General Yu is the youngest general in Hua Kingdom. Worship Eternal Night Monarch as her teacher. It should have been passed down as a beautiful story. You ruin, you ruin General Yu's future, Chi Deng Xian. You are the sinner of Hua. Sinner. General Yu, I suspect he's a spy from another country. I apply to have him executed on the spot. Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! General Yu, please spare his life! Are you gonna kill me? Afraid? For the sake of your wife, I will spare you from dying today. Otherwise, she will become a widow since she, she just got married. Boy, General Yu will not kill you. Kneel down quickly. Thank you, General Yu. Do you make me beg on my knees? Why not? You ruined General Yu, Yu's banquet. I think you should apologize. Forget it. Apology from a young jailer doesn't mean anything to me. Chi Deng Xian, three chances you have used it once. What does it mean? You should know. Dismiss, my lord. Forget it. Giving him three chances was my promise to him. The most important thing now is going to the mansion of his majesty, Yunlin Palace, to beg his forgiveness. Yunding Heavenly Palace, you shall long. We'll soon meet again. Your Majesty, the banquet was destroyed. That was my fault. Allowed an unknown person in. Your Majesty, please give me another chance. Chi Deng Xian, what are you doing here? I live here. Why can't I be here? You have destroyed a ceremony banquet. Ain't you afraid that my master will kill you? Or you also want to be his disciple? Will ruin my ceremony on purpose and take this opportunity to prove something in front of me. If that's the case, your behavior in my eyes just like a clown. Neuropathy. Who? You shall long. You kidnapped our boss. 
Today is your deadline. Are you under the command of King of Terror, Four Kings? Oh shit, these four persons together are not less powerful than the King of Destruction. I'm injured now, I'm afraid. Kill this woman to avenge the boss. Who are you? The person who wants your life. Arrogance. Go away. My lord. What will happen? You were injured by these four people. The bastard wants to bully you. Thank you, master, for saving my life. If it went master's help, I must have died today. Chu Wu Dao hasn't become your master yet. You have no right to say that. If it weren't for you, General Yu has become a follower of His Majesty with his guidance. Master Yu will become the first goddess of war in Hua in a very short time. Your Majesty, this villain is here. Please just kill him. I was kind enough to save your lord's life. You're gonna kill me in return? You really think I'm weak and easily bullied? Chi Den Xian. You mean, you killed the four kings? She then said, if you want to use this way to please me, it might be a bit too crude. How dare you claim the honor of his majesty? Audacious! Neuropathy! You! Since you have joined Charles' family, so the earnings, and your daughter's dead son-in-law, don't press me anymore. Remember, you and I, there's no possibility. Don't worry, I'm not interested in you who don't have any wisdom. So, are you the cleaner here? My lord thought, after leaving from that broken prison, you will have a great achievement. Unexpectedly, you not only join Charles' family, but also become a cleaner. You really are an idiot. Many men are chasing Charles too long. It's not easy for you to live in Charles' family. Since I broke the engagement first, I can help you. But don't pester me anymore. Don't say it's the Chow family anymore. Even if it's your Jade family. In my eyes, it's just shit. You really saved me just now? My lord, what are you thinking about? People like him, weak and useless. I can easily deal with him, not to mention killing the four kings. Deng Shen, today Chu Ming asked Black Dragon Chamber of Commerce for money. I'm afraid she might be in danger. You go and find her quickly, okay? Chiu Mo, I don't know what your father thinks. Chao Zhang has been courting you. I can't believe your dad let you marry a jailer. Obviously, it's not a match. This is my best friend, Li Yuan. Don't mind her being like that. What? Am I wrong? Is this her prison guard, Qi Deng Xian? Are you that Qi, sir? What's up? Dare to make a big fuss about a teacher worship banquet, the Jade God of War? But you can't get back the 20 million owed by the Black Dragon Chamber of Commerce? In the end, you let Chu Meng beg me. What happened? Does the Black Dragon Chamber of Commerce owe you money? It's easy. Later I'll ask Zhao Heilong to send the money back. Qi Denxian, can you shut up? If my father hadn't forced me to marry you, I won't do that at all. Do you know who is Zhao Heilong? He's the giant of Zhonghai. How can he possibly take your order? Then you didn't see him, begging for his life, while I hung him in the playground. It's so lively. Who wants to ask the Black Dragon Chamber of Commerce for debt? Mr. Yu, it's me. I'm Zhang Xiaoqiao of Zhang's Real Estate. Last time, we met in the teacher worship bank of the Jade God of War. Do me a favor, settle the money of the Chao family. I have long heard that the president of the Chao family has both talents and extraordinary temperament and a good-looking face. I know you today. You are beautiful indeed. How about you finish the bottle of wine? Then I'll pay it back. Mr. Yu, forget. Do me a favor. What? Who the hell are you? He's just a follower of Lu Chao. Why is he so arrogant? Seems that I still made him too comfortable in prison. I drink. Two more. Mr. Yu, 20 million yuan. Hope you keep your promise.
Okay, great. <laughs> Since Chu Ming drank the wine, I am going to take her away. You, you tell the Chow family. I will send 20 million to Chow's account tomorrow morning. Brother Chow, how can you do nothing? What about the chastity of Chiu Meng? Get out. What can I do? He's a member of the Black Dragon Chamber of Commerce. His what? boss is that awful Chow Hei Long. What? How dare you touch my woman? It turned out to be you, little sluggish three. I don't just touch your woman. I could hit you, and you wouldn't even fight back. You sure about that? Give me back the money you owe immediately, or I'll kill you right now. Pidanxian, are you crazy? You hit the people from Black Dragon. That will not recover. How dare you? Not only will you not get what you owe, but you will kneel before me for three days and nights, begging me to forgive you. You. Take Chu Meng and leave first. I'll take care of things here. What are you waiting for? Hurry up and take her away. Tomorrow morning, ask Lo Xiao to get the money ready for me. I'll pick it up in person. Fuck you. Son of a bitch. You still want money? I'll kill you! Meng Meng, drink hot water. Thank you. Be careful, it's really hot. Qi Dangxian, where did you go? No more, she was in danger last night. But you were just like a coward. What's up? Why are you here? How dare you to ask? Last night, Momo went to Black Dragon for the debt, but she got drunk. If Chao Zhang hadn't sent Momo back in time, I can't say what would have happened. Aunt, don't embarrass Brother Chi. He's just a little prison guard. Even if he went, he could do nothing. Chu Meng was rescued by me from Yu Kai Hei. When did this become your credit? Brother Chi, I know. You just came to Chi family and need some credit to stand firm. I understand you. How about... Let's just think of it as Meng Meng, you say. I did nothing. You agree? You're just a turtle. You pretend to be a hero. It was Chao Zhang saved Meng Meng. You say it's your credit. Don't you feel shameful? You are just a little jowler. What chance do you have to meet people from Black Dragon? It's hilarious! Well, thank you, Chao Zhang. If you hadn't saved me, I would have been miserable. Meng Meng, it's not me. It's Shilda Chi. You are noble, Chao Zhang. You are willing to help a little man, but I can't stand it. I'm visiting you, Chiu Meng. How are you? Wan Er, you were there too. You tell me, who saved Meng Meng? Of course it was Chao Zhang. Last night, Yu Kai He wanted to touch Mo Mo. If Chao Zhang hadn't beaten Yu Kai He, Mo Mo would be in trouble. Well, 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 Chi wants to make a contribution. You can understand him. Last night, when you saw him, you didn't even dare to say anything. You now say that you saved Chu Meng. You're shameless. Enough, Qi Dengxian. You are a loser and being jealous. You are so... and you're too petty. He can't be blamed for that. He's just a little prison guard from somewhere. It's normal for him to be petty. Charles Zhang, you have always loved Meng Meng. When her father come back, I will let Meng Meng divorce with this jailer. Pang Shuyun, what did your little girl do? She went to ask for a debt? She didn't get the money and beat someone else? Now Mr. Yu is preaching this everywhere. As a result, Chong Hai Bank interrupted our lending. Why can't she continue to serve as president of Chao Group? Uh, what's going on? Brother, can you wait for Guo Tao to talk about this? Guo Tao? Now he's been tied up by Yu Kai He, the Black Dragon Chamber of Commerce, and he asked Chao Chu Meng to apologize to him personally. You'll see what to do.
Joe, Joe, you hit him. You know someone there. You go, please, for mercy. Fuck. I don't know Zhao Heilong at all. I don't have the strength. Aunt, let me think. Chi Deng Shan. You hit him, in fact. You must be responsible for this matter. Did Chil De Zhang teach Yu Kai Hei a lesson last night? Why am I being held responsible now? Chi Deng Shan, are you still a man? Is someone else responsible for what you do? Chu Meng, I'll be there. I don't care about Lo Zhao. Not to mention the little minions under him. Chi Deng Shan, can you stop bragging? The Black Dragon is huge. You are just a second grade jailer. You can't handle it. I will save my father myself. You stay at home. Do you want me to release your daddy? Okay. I'll give you a chance. Take off your dress. Mr. Yu, what do you mean? What? What are you talking about? You change this dress on, you make me comfortable, and I'll let your father go. Or, not only is your dad going to die, but so is the Chow family. That's not appropriate. I'm married. <laughs> I like young married women. They're great in bed and docile. You have a nice mouth. Remember to serve me with this focus. Mr. Yu, we can talk about business. But I can't do this. Why not? We all enjoy it. By the way, I can cuckold that bastard. I'm excited when I just think about it. Fuck you. Someone help me. You guys bring me that old man. Daddy! Follow me or I'll kill your father. You choose one. Do it. Faster. Do you want me to help you? You. You're dead. You ran away last time. Now you're at the Black Dragon Chamber of Commerce. How dare you hit me? Now, even God can't save you. I'm informing you. Xian, run! Run! I'm not kidding! You really get a big trouble. Then tell me, how big is it? You, how big is it? You'll see. Now, if you two kneel down in front of me, I can consider not telling Chairman Zhao. You are so blatant. Slap his face. The last person who did it is already dead. Chidan Xian, leave now. Back to your small place. Don't ever come back. You're the head of the Black Dragon Chamber of Commerce, aren't you? The telephone is getting through. You're in trouble. You're dead. Chidan Xian, do you know what you have done? You are just a jailer. You can't afford to offer Zhao Hei Long. Hey, Chairman. What did you say? He got beaten at the Black Dragon Chamber of Commerce? Is any different from riding my neck and taking a shit? Wait, I'll be there soon. I want to see. Who's so cocky? Prison guard. Don't worry. Someone will collect your body after you die. When you're dead, Chu Meng will still be mine. I just had a meeting with German Zhao. I heard someone was making trouble here. I came here and have a look. I didn't expect it was you. Madam Yun, why you came here? Little man with big temper. You even dare to offend Big Boss in Zhonghai. You have two more chances. 
Back me to in to see you. None of your business. You. Okay, I will see without master's help. How miserable you will die! Who wants to die? Dare of making trouble in my territory? How could it be this evil star? Chairman Zhao, last time the Chao Group provided us with 20 million yuan of goods, they were all defective, so I refused a payment request. Can't believe this bitch brought her husband to beat me up. You little bounder. Chairman Mao, that's not true. All my goods are definitely okay. We just want to use his power to make some disgusting hiding rules. Ah, bah! Damn it! This bastard dare to have thoughts about the wife of the second master. This is gonna fucking kill me. How all perfect things get to you will always like this. Chairman Zhao, could you please let us go? You're dead. Chairman Zhao, my lord, this guy is so arrogant. Just let him suffer first. Don't you two kneel down and beg President Zhao to spare your lives. Don't you two kneel down and beg President Zhao to spare your lives. Isn't it, Chairman Zhao? Chairman Zhao, you Kai He. I let you come to the Chamber of Commerce to make money for me. Instead of letting you use my name to play the bully and bully men and women. Yes, yes, Chairman Zhao. With the power I gave you, you played a gangster? You are ruining the reputation of our Black Dragon Chamber of Commerce in a harmonious society. In Black Dragon Chamber of Commerce, what is our corporate culture? Win people by virtue. Today, I will teach you what it means to win people by virtue. How dare you offend Chao family? How dare you do something wrong? How dare you? Chairman Chao, Chairman Chao, stop it, stop it. Yu Kai He, remember today. Yes, yes, yes. Miss Chao, I'm really sorry. As the company grows, there are all kind of people, this bastard, making you unhappy. I, Chao Heilong, deeply apologize. It's okay, Chairman Zhao. You had to glide. Get out of here now. Yes, yes. The 20 million yuan owed by the Black Dragon Chamber of Commerce to the Chao family, I'll arrange to settle it for you now. I'll give you another 20 million. This 20 million yuan is my Chao Heilong's compensation to the Chao family. Is he still the notorious Zhao? Zhao Heilong, when did he become so gentle? Since Zhao Heilong saw Qi Dongxian, his attitude has greatly changed. Maybe that we all may be here. Chu Meng, you've done our family a great honor. So what? Huh, this boss to marry my daughter. My poor girl. Qi Dongxian. Zhao Heilong is always very unreasonable. You tell me, why is so different today? Does this woman feel something before? How should I know? Of course, Chao Zhang intervened. The family Zhang is big. Zhao Heilong definitely will show some respect. That's for sure. If I haven't called President Zhao, not only Uncle Chiao, also Chu Meng would be in danger. <laughs> what a shameless man. What the fuck are you saying? Still laughing? You didn't save Meng Meng. You almost killed her. That's right, husband. Why keep this garbage in our family? Ask Chu Meng divorce with him. Dad, mommy is right. False love will not last. Actually, we are not a good match. With such a troublemaker, our family will be finished. Chi acts sort of on impulse, but he does it for your own good. Don't bring this up again. Brother Zhao, you have me a great favor this time. Come on, deny me. Deng Shen, go with them. Second Master, this is Zhao Heilong. Are you available now? I need a small favor. Huh? I guess right. Mayor, this medicine soup is made from a hundred-year-old polygona multiflorum root. I had it prepared especially for you. Hope you like it. Thank you, Mr. Sun. 
If you want to live a few more days, it's best not to drink the soup. Who are you, little brat? Dare to doubt my prescription? Mayor, there's nothing wrong with the soup. Just drink it. President Chow, this is the doctor you called? Mayor Huang. Ew. Good advice is hard to give to those who will die soon. You won't even last this number. How dare you curse Mayor Huang? Mayor Huang will die in five days. Showing off in front of me. Who do you think you are? Unless... You think you're better than a doctor. Security, throw this rude guy out. Ah. Mir Huang, don't be angry. All right, time's up. Five, four, three, two, one. Save me. Young gentleman, I was too reckless just now. Speaking is unpleasant. Since the young gentleman can see the symptom of Mayor Huang, there must be a way to treat it. Please help me out. Where did you go with that aura just now? Two masters. These people have no sense of propriety. Don't listen to them. This thing about Mayor Huang, you really need to help. Chao Zhao has many other projects here. We still have to wait for Mayor Huang's policy. Okay, you little boy. You sincerely want to kill Mayor Huang, but you can't succeed. Everyone has seen it. Mayor Huang vomited blood after being beaten by him. This has nothing to do with this has nothing to do with me. Somebody help take him down from me. Stay your hand. This master is saving me. It's not harming me. Master, please accept my bow. You are my life saver. What will happen in the future? Use the words of the old husband. Just ask. You're not sick. He was poisoned. This is the Poison King Huang Medicine's secret recipe. Man in the street. Of course you can't see it. The master's approach is truly extraordinary. I'm blind and asked the master to give me a chance. Accept me as an apprentice. I'm willing to follow the master. Study medical skills well. A person who can even use the wrong medicine. You still have the qualifications to learn from me. Sun King of Medicine. It's because of Zhang's real estate loan. Excessive worry caused the medication to be used incorrectly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a big problem at Chang's real estate. The capital shortfall is too large. Original preparation, $2 billion loan at China Overseas Bank. But I didn't agree. Hmm. Chang's real estate, this foreign capital expansion. Planning to make a quick run for it. Hello. Deng Shen, you hurry back. There's a big happy event. Huang. Eh? Really? Mr. Chi, that person was Mir Huang just now. Why did he come to see you? No, you're dizzy. Chi Dunxian, what else are you hiding? I must find you out. Uncle Chow, my relationship with Chu Ming. It's not too much to say I'm her male best friend. This time, Chang's real estate, matters related to the external capital and stock expansion, I'll give priority to the quota, the Chow's family. Chow Chie, I did not misread you as expected. Uncle Chow, I'm flattered. Based on my relationship with Chu Ming, our two families are now one family. Mr. Zhang, I have a plan. I'm willing to spend 30 million yuan to buy shares. Serious internal deficit of Zhang's group. There is a possibility of bankruptcy at any time. The recent wave of capital and stock expansion is for running away with money. Chi Dunxian, don't be incompetent. You can't see anybody better than you. Mr. Zhang, help us with kindness. This is Mr. Zhang's priority to Mong Mong. He told us in advance because of his relationship with Mong Mong. Don't be ungrateful. Hey, Ding Shen. Jealousy isn't good, you know. If you don't want to contribute money, I'll help you with three million. Uncle Chow, it's not that I don't want to take this money. They, Mayor Huang, personally told me when he asked me to handle the matter. Nonsense! Mayor Huang sought your help. Take a good look at yourself. You are just a country punky. A jailer comes from a rotten prison. You think you are qualified to see Mayor Huang? That person was Mayor Huang indeed. This means John's realistic, my really inner trouble. It's true. Chi Dunxian. If you don't appreciate, that's your business. But please don't say embarrassing things again. And don't slander Mr. Zhang. You just can't stand our family getting rich. Let me tell you. 
Today, nobody can stop us to investigate John's real estate. Get out! All right, you will regret today's actions, sooner or later. Mr. Keith, there a new nice bar opened in Zhonghai. Come on, go for a drink and thank you. What do you have to thank me for? I won't go. Hey, Mr. Chi. If you hadn't alerted me, I was going to subscribe 10 million stake. This is to say, maybe it was kind of recover of 10 million damage. You say, should I buy you a drink? You trust me that much? The Xiang's group has been suppressed by human group. Zhang Dongqing's personality is like rather bend than compromise. Now is a good time to end next thing. The Cuban group is supported by Longman group. The sounds is not strong enough to get against. But in case you get into trouble, let me know any time. Xiang's group is a company owned by Lao Xiang's sister. Old Xiang is in the prison. His performance has been good and helped me with a lot of business. I also promised Old Xiang whether it is right or proper, I have to help him with his sister. Ash, where are you pinching it? What are you looking at? Be careful, I will complain to Xiu Nong. Looks like Yu Xiaolong is getting in on the act to deal with the Xiang group. That's just right. And this one encounter, take her down a notch. Was that a goddess of war, Yu Xiaolong? She also helped you at Black Dragon. To be honest, you like her, don't you? I like her. She's just a self-righteous, stinky fart woman. Then you must like that sexy lady. She has the big boobies. The way you look at her was like want to eat her up. Hey, every day in your head. What are you thinking? Of course, it's all about you, Mr. Chi. Do you really plan to stay with Chiu Nong and give up the forest? It depends on fate. When it's the end of the situation, it'll naturally leave. How about me? Do you want to... concern about me? You do this? Aren't you afraid to be sorry for Chiu Meng? Chiu Mong is not into you at all. The same as her family. I'm different. I'm two years older than you. Me. I'm into you so much. Ah, oh, this girl. I fancy her. Here's the money. Take her money and get out of here. Too little. Guy, I advise you. Don't be ungrateful. This woman. I'm gonna play. You! What are you doing? You're a selling bitch and you hit me. You son of bitch! Your whole family are bitches! I wonder if you know who I am. I'm the young owner of Human Group. Because of the background, so... You could just go out and be a gangster, little boy. You dare to hit me? I like your woman. It's your pleasure. You should endure anger. What shall we do, Chi Dengxian? Let the young boss of Human Group want to be done! Didn't you hit him? I didn't know he was the young boss of Human Group or apologize to him. Apologize? Now you're afraid. Then go under my crotch and crawl out of this bar. Then, this girlfriend of yours, this night, will serve me well. I'm gonna pretend this never happened. Charles Wang, my father is the president of Muzi Group, Li Zhengdao. Why don't you respect the relationship of him? Forget about this matter. Muzi Group? Just that little asset? I'll crush every minute detail of it. What's the matter, Charles Wang? Why are you unhappy? Miss Xu, I know. We can't fight and make trouble in your bar. It's this Buster's girlfriend. She made the first move. After that, I indicated that I am from the human group, the identity of a young master. This buster doesn't even pay attention to me. Did you make the first move? Strictly speaking, yes. But he caused trouble first. I don't care what grudges you have. I only know you moved first. Mr. Wang, do you have a solution here? Drill through and crawl out. Today, it's over. Then follow Mr. Wang's instruction. What you did at my bar. I can forget about it. That's your handling method? And? Any objections? Who are you? You want me to do... Is that how I do? Buster, how are you talking to Sister Shu? Do you no longer want to live? Do you even know who she is? Sister Shu is the daughter of the Shu family. 
Do you understand the gold content of the shoe family? Shoe family ranked in the top ten in Jingdu. Tiden Xian, by your nonsense, I'm going to be persecuted. It was me that hit him, but it was this brother Bao who caused the trouble. Now you must jump out and stop us fight. But don't blame me. I won't give you face as a bar owner. Good young man. I want to take a look. How can you offend me, Xu Aoxue? Miss Xu, we are untutored. Forgive us. Don't argue with us. Okay? It's too late. Now this bastard has already offended me. Do you think his methods just move on easily? Somebody come, drag this bastard into the river and feed fish. Miss Xu. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ao Xue, I knew what happened just now. Do me a favor. This matter, forget it. Forget it? His chief family's loser. Cancelled the engagement by our lady. Lady broke the engagement first. For Chi Denxian, she feels guilty. So please spare him. Take your people away. I have to do this favor to Xiao Long. Wang Bao, forget about this matter today. Okay, General Yu's eyes cannot hold sand. I put up with it, Buster. You're lucky this time. Don't let me catch you next time. Xiao Long, you are really kind. If I had a man who is useless, also with a foul mouth, I would possibly kick him away as far as possible. Do you know? Today, you Xiao Long saved your life. Gosh, again, Chi Denxian, you really think you are a human? Without Lady's presence, you have been killed and sank into the river. Do you think here you can make trouble? Or you still think Mr. Wang is someone you can offend? <laughs> Arguing with you is my fault, Xiao Long. If he dares to provoke me again, even if he come, I won't forgive him either. Don't rely on your master of none, but being overweening. No matter how she or her fiance. They are alien ministers in Longmen. They can pinch you to death like an ant. Just one alien minister of Longmen. What kind of thing is it? Such words. You'd better not to say. Otherwise, you even don't know why you die. I gave you three chances. You used once again today. So what? So, you only have one chance left. This may be your last chance to keep your life. Conduct yourself well. Although I'm reluctant to admit it, I did accept your help today. But I'm warning you. Don't think about being with the Shu family. The plot against the Xiang group. Otherwise, how can you even pay for it? You don't even know. Such words. It is on the folk list. What those wealthy people say, I might consider. Ji Denxian, what's your relationship with Yu Xiaolong? Why they are helping you so much? Oh, skip it. It's all from the past. Come on, come on. Drink some wine. Mr. T, I don't want to go home tonight. Can you take me to your place? Are you awake? Where is it? Well done, Chi Denxian. Live in the villa now. This is Yunding Heavenly Palace. <coughs> Where? Yunding Heavenly Palace. I heard that you have made some trouble on Yu Xiaolong's prepared banquet for Eternal Night Murnik. You are bringing me here now on the Palace of Eternal Night Murnik, Chi Denxian. I'm going to be killed because of you. What are you doing? This is a gift from my disciple. Are you okay? This villa worth two billion yuan. Even my family plus Chao family together, we cannot offer to buy either. Understand? Your Majesty, please give me another chance. I must abide by all manners. I won't do offensive behavior again. This woman is really persistent. This is a gift for you, a one thousand year old jade pendant. In any case, you are my master in my heart. Did I just get dizzy? The person in the villa looks like Chi Denxian. You are not joking. This is really the mansion of Eternal Night Murnik, and you said this is your gift. So you are. Guess what? Hard work. We'll let you break in. I need to see your boss. His brother, Xiang Donglei, asked me to come. Don't you know? 
Mr. Shang hates the brother the most. Get the hell out of here now. Seems like Mr. Shang's younger sister has a deep resentment towards him. Your boss's life is in danger now. Are you sure you won't let me in? I am the head of the security department of Shang Group. The safety of Miss Shang is not your turn to manage it. Buster, stop. As long as I sign this contract, will I see my brother? That's right. And this land in the new century? Your Xian group cannot afford to pay for it. You can't compete with our human group. After all, the Longman is standing behind us. Okay, deal. But you have to make sure what you say is true. Absolutely true. Don't sign it. He doesn't even know where your brother is. Why, you little punk. So you are a Shangdong Qing person. You get out or I get you out. You. Okay. So we're done with each other. Shangdong Qing, you better think about what I told you. After all, when my brother gets back, we who men are not so easy to talk to. I was sent by your brother. Maybe we could talk about it. My brother's pendant. You are really my brother's friend. I'm not your brother's man. To be exact, well, he's from my prison. I got out of prison by chance. Shangdong Lei, before leaving, specifically asked me to take care of you. I don't need anyone to take care of me. Of course you don't need to be looked after. You own a $10 billion corporation. Who am I to take care of you? But whether you can hold it, that's another story. I know you're under pressure from the human cartel, also known in the imperial capital Shu family, is also ready to enter the hand. Even Jade Dragon, all to the big pie of Xiang Group, has an interest in. What you say is reality. Of course it's true. All three points to you alone on yourself. I'm afraid I can't hold it. Can you really help me? You are just a jailer. What can you get from me? Your brother was on his knees when he begged me. There's a lot of tears and snot. My brother is a business genius. Someone can make him beg for help. He's not a simple man. First, I need a position at Xiang Group, so I can help you later. Good. From now on, you are the head of security de department. I don't agree. Mr. Xiang, I'm the head of security for Xiang Group. On what grounds do I get demoted? Because I'm a better fighter than you. Take my move and you'll be on the floor for half an hour. <laughs> Boy, that was a sneak attack. Who allowed it to enter here? I can demote you only because of this point. What's the matter with your daughter, Chu Meng? Didn't you say you settled with the Black Dragon Chamber of Commerce? Why hasn't Zhonghai Bank made a loan? Without the money, the company can't run. Chu Meng, I don't know if you can still serve as the president. If you can't, then step down as soon as possible. I can serve it. In the evening, you go to Wang Hao Hotel, room 203. We shut the door, talk slowly. But in Zhonghai Bank, Manager Zhang gave the condition of really... Uncle Chow, leave it to me. I am familiar with the president of Zhonghai Bank, Sun Jing Xuan. If I asked him for help, I don't think he'd say no. Yeah, what a braggart. No wonder you have been goofing off these two days. So, you went to research the Zhonghai famous person. Ding Shen, how many times have I told you a man should stand on solid ground? This thing is out of your hands. Aunts and uncles, this thing may be hard for a chi. But for me, it's a piece of cake. After all, before Sun Ching Shen, the president of Zhonghai Bank begged us, the Zhang Group, to make a loan two billion dollars. I saw you begging him to get a loan. He didn't disagree. Ah, what do you mean? I really want to help the Chows, but you've smeared me over and over again. Uncle Chow, it's really too chilling for me. Ding Shen. If you say one more word, get the hell out of here. Meng Meng, you just go about your work. I'll take care of the rest. Good. Thank you, Zhang. I'm here to see Manager Zhang to talk about the Chow's loan. We got nothing to talk about. Mr. Zhang has already given you the condition. Let Chow Chu Meng take off clothes to open a room. To wait for the Manager Zhang. 
If you can't do that, don't be here. Ah, fuck you. Hit me at the Chonghai Bank. I'm Manager Jang's assistant. You can't hurt me. We won't give you a loan. You're just an assistant. You dare be a poser in front of me? Even if Manager Jang shows up, I will beat the crap out of him too. Hey, who's making trouble here? Manager Jang, you're here. He's the one who just threatened to beat you to a pulp. How dare you hit a man at a Zhonghai bank? You think you're a good fighter, don't you? Now, Manager Jang here, if you have the courage, why don't you try hurting me again in front of him? How dare you? It's been a long time since anyone's been this arrogant in front of me. You better give me something. I can barely hear. Otherwise, the Chow Group is going out of business today. Well done. Then I'll give you a chance. You took off all your clothes, run around the bank three times, and then solved the Chow's loan for me. I'm gonna forget it ever happened. What a braggart. If I say no, then I have to call President Sun. I'm glad you called President Sun. If you can't call, I'll show you what it takes to be a pussy with me. Mayor Huang, I'm now at Zhonghai Bank. Please kindly give me Sun Ching Shan's phone number. I have something to do with him. No problem. Where are you now? I call old Sun right now and let him come over. You don't even have President Sun's phone number. How could you be such a phony? And you even called Mayor Huang? Are you trying to scare me with the name Mayor Huang? You really think I'm scared? I'm not sure if you have no confidence in me. Or are you being too confident with yourself? Kid, don't say that I'm not giving you a chance. You better do it in 10 minutes. Get someone who has power over me. If you can't hold me down, then I'm sorry, but the Chow Group will go bankrupt tonight. I'll break your limbs and let you crawl out of my office. All right, 10 minutes. Time's up. You gonna surrender yourself? Or are you going to wait for my order? Hit him! Don't you dare! Boss, you're here. What's going on? Boss, I have no idea where the Chow group got this bastard. He's trying to let me release the money, and he even injured my assistant. Boss, you don't have to be angry. I'll immediately get this bastard done. I'll let him know what happens when he offends our Chonghai bank, Sun Chen Chuan. Well, you've got some good men. My wife came to him, hoping to solve a problem in business. But he wants to get her to sleep with him. Only then he would talk to her about the business. He was just asking your wife to sleep with me. What's wrong with that? I'm willing to give you guys a chance. It's because I think you're worth such a small company. You're going to have to fucking live with it. Seems like President Sun hasn't given enough lessons to your men. Bastard. You're so addicted in pretending, aren't you? After you hit me, how dare you use such a tone of voice to speak to our president? And you are right, Mr. Shi. I did not manage my employees well and let a bastard with a big mouth be my staff. What? When did Chao Chu Meng find a husband of high status? Kneel down. Are you deaf? Master Chi, in your view, how should I punish this guy so that you can be satisfied? I've told him the solution, but he didn't agree, so I've let you come in person, Bank President Sun. He had me run around the bank nakedly! Master Chief, Master Chief, please change the way of punishment. This is so humiliating. After all, I am a man. If I do as you say, I'll lose my reputation. Follow Master Chief's words. Otherwise, from now on, you're being fired. Master Chi, I'm so sorry. It's my loose management that makes such a jerk work in the bank. I'm satisfied with your idea. Now my anger drains away, and this will be the end of the matter. I'm asking my employees. No. I'll arrange the loans of the group of Chow family by myself. Then thank you, President Sun. Chi Denxian, I asked you to come here today for apologizing to Zhang. Not too long ago, the company has received a lawyer from Zhonghai Bank. So, you must apologize for being disrespectful to Zhang. When did it become so easy to get a loan from the Zhonghai Bank? Hey, Chu Bank, so this is what you're talking about. Don't worry. I'm a man of my word. Trust me. Also, it's just a few million yuan. It's nothing to the Chang group. 
It's me who personally reached out to President Zhang, secured a loan. You? Is it really hard to accept the reality? Someone is better than you. Zhang not only helped me to secure a loan, but also made a stupid manager run lamps around the bank. You? What did you do? Except doing nothing. What else can you do? Tio Mong, have you ever considered the possibility that Chi Shen is telling the truth? Impossible. He, a jailer comes from who knows where, is not capable of this. Simply impossible. Yu Wan, did he threaten you to speak in his favor? No, he didn't. I'm just saying. So, are you gonna apologize or not? I could eat here, but not apologize. Fine. John, let's go. I have already paid the tab. Take your time eating here by yourself. Chiu Mong, thank you for doing me a favor, creating this opportunity for me to be alone with Mr. Chi. Hey, honey, that guy inside there looks like who embarrassed me the day before yesterday. That him? Okay, let's go check him out. Wait, forget about it. After all, he's with Yu Xiaolong. Everyone knows that you're my girl. Being disrespectful to you is being disrespectful to me. And nobody dares to be this disrespectful to me. For a very long time, except the two years in prison. I'd like to see who this idiot is that dares to disrespect my girl. As much as I respect General Yu, today I came here to offer you a little way out. You drink these as a gesture of apology. After this, you'll walk in front of my girl and kneel down, then apologize for your misbehavior. In that case, I'd consider us done. Let me introduce my husband, Ye Feng. He is a special guest of Long Men, so I advise you follow as what he said. Although your life is worth nothing, it won't be nice making the floor dirty, right? The special guest of Long Men, how come a man like him came to Zhonghai? Hold it, why is this happening to me? What a bad day! Hey, Mr. Chi, it's getting serious, are we gonna be fine? We should be fine. I mean, come on, are you kidding me? How dare you talk to my husband while sitting? Who do you think you are? My husband is being so nice to offer you a way out, and yet you are still showing no remorse. Stand up and apologize! You know, Mr. Ye, my friend is a bit stupid. Please cut us some slack. Why are you still eating like nothing happened? How do you kick someone's ass without filling your stomach first? People like you always love to pretend to be some real tough guy, huh? When I said apologize, it's me offering you a way out. Apologize to you? Who the hell you think you are? How dare you? You were disrespectful to me, and now to my husband. I'm telling you, we don't care about you, Xiaolong. We don't. Oh, come on, he's beating a jerk. Without Yu Xiaolong's presence, who will save his ass this time? You think being married into the Shu family and having the designated warrior of Dragon Sect as your husband would make you superior to others? Sorry, that won't work here. Also, I found people like you who consider themselves superiors to others disgusting. You're asking for this. I would kill myself if I can make it out here alive. Chi Xian, you are dragging me down! Out of here alive. Am I right? You ate a little leaf? Second master? S Second master? Ye Feng, what's wrong? Are you feeling sick? Go for you, little leaf. It's less than two years since you've been out of prison. Now you have the guts to let your girl pick on me? Second Master, you're making fun of me. How dare I let Chu insult you? If I had known that it's you who came here, I wouldn't even have the slightest complaint. It looks like the greedy wolf wasn't trying hard to slap your pretty face. You must have forgotten what it felt like. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here to pick on me. I believe you were telling me to kneel before your girl and apologize to her, right? Second Master, I truly had no idea it was you. I was just joking with you. Please, I didn't mean it. I'm, I'm always like this. I talk and say things without thinking. After all these years of being trained by you, you know me better than anyone else. <gasps> Wait! What's happening? How come Ye Feng kneels down for him? No way is the Eternal Knight Murnik is really Chi Dunxian's apprentice. Enough. A man shouldn't kneel so easily and cry like a pussy. Get up. Thank you, Second Master. 
Chu, this is Chi Deng Shan, Mr. Chi. You can also refer him as the second master. Come, toasting the second master with three cups of wine as an apology for your misbehavior. What goes around comes around. Even a supercilious woman like her who have to apologize to Chi Deng Shan. Ye Feng, I don't care what relationship you two have. Where I come from, it's the Shu family from the capital. You want me to apologize? What we did all this thing? Apologize to him. When pigs fly. Wait, Shu. <laughs> Second master, please forgive me. She's always like this. I apologize to you for her misbehavior. If it's not enough, I'll kneel again. Hello? Chi Deng Xian, the head of the security department. Are you here just to be a freeloader? The hands group and human groups are fighting over the development rights to the new central land. Our people cannot hold it any longer. You have 10 minutes. Get your ass up here. Get lost. I'll spare you this time. Thank you so much for your mercy, Second Master. Miss Xiang, Yan Zi is so strong. I'm no match to him. Well, is this all the Xiang group got? Yeah. After all, my big brother is a direct apprentice of designated warrior dragon sect. You're a bunch of garbage. Defeating you is just like eating a piece of cake. Huang Bao, behave. Stop being so rude to Miss Xiang. She might be your sister-in-law one day. Okay. Now that the Xiang group has all been defeated, according to the agreement, the new century land will be handed over to the tiger sect group for development. Just wait. Someone is still coming. Miss Zhang, you can't be expecting that useless prick. He's just a coward. Why are you still expecting from him? Miss Zhang, just sign it. Sorry I'm late. You all must have waited for a long time. You're a damn disgrace to the title Miss Zhang has granted you. Miss Zhang, you should fire him immediately. Yo, who did I think it would be? It turned out to be you, idiot. Big brother, he's the asshole who beat me up at Miss Xu's nightclub. Take his ass from me and make sure he regrets it. The guy standing up there is the direct apprentice of Longman, mastering the real art from him. Can you defeat him or not? Miss Xiang, I cannot control myself as well as my master does, so don't blame me if I accidentally kill him later. Chi Deng Xian, how about we just leave? Mr. Wang, I admit that I lost this time. Miss Xiang and others can leave. But you have to stay and kneel down to apologize and crawl under me from between my legs. See, I thought he was so unyielding. All he can do is submit when he meets my big brother, right? I've never seen anyone stick their face out to get slapped before. I don't know where Miss Shang found this reckless young man. Dare to slap my little brother in front of me. It's as if I, the apprentice of the designated warrior of Dragon Sect, wasn't even here. The designated warrior of Dragon Sect, even if your master was here, he would have to kneel and get slapped by me. Miss Xiang, this Chi Deng Xian guy, he really talks and says things without thinking. How dare he openly insult the designated warrior of Dragon Sect? He should fire him sooner rather than later. If you let him to keep it that way, one day the Xiang group will fall because of him. Miss Xiang, you failed to discipline your people. This scum from your company, talking without any respect, actually openly insulting the designated warrior of Dragon Sect. If I accidentally kill him later, he can only blame himself for being so disrespectful and too cocky. Chi Deng Xian, come down! You are my brother's friend! I don't want you to die here! Don't worry, it won't take long. Our Minister Chi, he's trying to get himself killed. It seems there's no point of stopping him. I've been learning from Ye Feng and practicing Bagua palmistry for 18 years. I've mastered the 84 variations. I've mastered all kinds of techniques. Except for my master. It's the first time someone dared to say this in front of me. Words like this. Bagua Palm. I can teach you how to do it. Teach me. My master, Ye Feng. He's a famous master of Dragon Sect. Can you compete with him? Brother. This kid. He insulted our majesty of Dragon Sect. I'll beat him up. I hope you can hold out a little longer. Don't let this game end too quickly. Because I want to torture you to death slowly. Talking so much nonsense. Are we going to fight or not? Miss Xiang, you don't have to look. Let's go. This Chi Deng Shan, facing an expert like Wang Hu, he acts like he's looking down on others. He's digging his own grave. This move, in the Bagua Palm, it's the most vicious. It's the one that's called hides flowers under the leaves. It seems that our Wang Hu doesn't have any intention to leave our minister Chi alive. 
My brother's Kung Fu has already obtained 70% of his master's skills. He'll die for sure. Mr. Shang, you can arrange someone to collect his body. I can't believe that my brother had not beat him. Just this one move. Wang Hu is on his knees. You're not even close. Go back and train with your master for a few more years. He won't unexpectedly. Even the disciple of Dragon Set is not a match for Chidun Xian. Miss Xiang, he's just picking up the slack. He's not that good at all. If I had been allowed to fight, I would have done it. Idiot. Chidun Xian, New Centuries Land, you are the one who got it. This project, you will be in charge from now on. Hey, Chu Ming. Your boyfriend has no sense of time. He's got us all waiting for him. He's just a lazy bum, lazy idle money loser. He doesn't even have a job. I don't know where is he now. Auntie, it's hard to find a job outside. A prison guard from a small town. He's incompetent, but arrogant. I wonder where he's running around now. Dad, I'm home. What took you so long? I was busy with some projects. What's your project? How big the project is? Chi Dengxian, your bragging hobby has never changed. Well, let's not talk about that. Let's get down to business. The Xiang Group has acquired the land of New Century. We're going to develop it. It just so happens that Chil Dei Zhang had some connections with the person in charge of this project. That's why I've gathered all of you here today to discuss this matter. This New Century project. He knows the person in charge of the New Century project? Why don't I know? What's the point of knowing? You don't deserve to be here today. Your father-in-law insists on your presence. Okay, stop. Deng Xian is still a member of this family. He should be informed of this. I haven't recognized him as my son-in-law. Mom, let him watch alongside. Chao Zhang is the spotlight today. The New Century Project. Xiang's group is going to outsource some of it if I can win one of the projects. At least $20 million in profit. And I... Happen to know the person in charge of this project. Mr. Zhang, you have been too kind for our child's group. Thinking about us in everything. Chiu Mong, thank you for your Chiu Zhang. Thank you, Chiu Zhang. You don't have to say thank you for something like that. After all, we are not brother and sister. We are more like brother and sister. Chiu Mong, in the future, you should visit Chiu Zhang more. And don't be alienated. Mr. Zhang is like dragon among people. How wonderful it will be to be my son-in-law. That's nice, huh? What a pity I don't have the blessing. Ding Shen, your mom, you know, just whining about you. Don't take it to your heart. Well, you said you know the person in charge of the new Century Land Project. What's his name? His name is Zhao Lei. We all call him Lei Ji. He was also the head of the security department at Xiang's group, but also the director of this project. And he already promised me a $20 million project. He's not in charge of this project. And he can't give Chao family the new century project either. He can't give it. You can't. Well, you guessed it. Unfortunately, there are no rewards. Are you done? I'm telling the truth. The truth? You are a small jailer who can't even find a job. Do you know how much the new central project value? One billion. Do you have any sense of self-awareness? If I can give the project to the Chao family, I know clearly, Deng Shen, I know you have a high self-esteem. But you shouldn't lie about these things. Uncle Chao, if the Xiang group finds out Mr. Chi is so rude, then I'm afraid that... Mr. Zhang, don't care about this loser. Shut your mouth! Or I will have a sword up. <laughs> a project of a mere 20 million dollars, Mr. Zhang. If I present a project of 100 million dollars, you all may kneel down to me. If you can really present a project of 100 million, I will not only kneel for you, I will wish you like my ancestor. <laughs> Dad, I've really had enough of him. This is the contract for the 100 million dollar project. I prepared it for the Chao family at first. You'd better accept 20 million dollars from Zhang Group. But not willing to accept the Shang Group's $120 million project? The contract is fake. It seems like 100 million yuan's project is easy. You think you are the in charge of the new central project? Maybe he really not lied to us. Dad, he doesn't seem to be lying to us. This is the real contract of Sun's group. How can this be? <sighs> Good son-in-law, I'm sorry. Mom was too over. The contract is fake. Why do you say that, Mr. Zhang? It's clearly a contract from Sun's group. Look at the top. 
It doesn't even have the signature of the project manager. Where did you get this fake contract? All right, Chi Denxian, you are jealous of Mr. Zhang, and you are using a fake contract to fool us. You really regard yourself as the son of Xiang's group? Mr. Zhang is willing to give you a project of one hundred and twenty million dollars. Chi Denxian, Mr. Zhang didn't bother you, did he? He's always helping our family. You are just jealous that he's more talented than you. So you made it since, isn't it? The contract isn't signed. Just sign it, okay? You think we're all fools? Deng Xian, Uncle Chao was really wrong about you. From now on, I won't interfere in your affairs with Chu Ming. Uncle Chao wants to help you, but it's your own fault. Uncle Chao, the truth is, as you see it, I'm in charge of the new Century Project, and this project of $120 million, I arranged it for the Chao family. I don't think you're delusional, are you? First, you present a contract for a $120 million project, and then you pretend to be the head of the project. Are you tricking us like we were three years old? Chow, look at your son-in-law. When you recruited him as son-in-law, I was against it, but you never listened. If you are still Chumon's father, please have them divorced tomorrow and say goodbye to him completely. Oh no. I should have known that the new project that I brought to the Chow family would lead to such consequences. God damn, I shouldn't have mentioned it. I'd rather tear down the temple than ruin a marriage. I've really become a villain. Ouch. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Chiu Mong, congratulations. I would say that you're so generous. You have got such a good project proposal. You didn't tell me in advance. What project? New Central Land Development. The biggest outsourcing project. The sales group just announced to the public. Charles group got this project. What? You didn't receive the proposal? We have. But my mom just told it off. Deng Xian, mom was too impulsive just now. I said something I shouldn't have said. Don't take it personally. I just turned Ara into steel. If I didn't know you are the head of this project, I wouldn't have said such a thing. Then why didn't you say it earlier? You didn't believe me when I told you? Deng Shen, Dad knew you'd have good prospects. You only come to Zhonghai for a few days, and you've become the head of the Xiang Group's project department. The Qi family has a new generation. I know. Lei Ji gives this $120 million project to the Chao family. I went to his door and begged him personally. Plus, I'm his childhood friend. We grew up in the same environment. He thinks that $20 million was not enough, so he gave this $120 million project to the Chao family. Mr. Zhao, is that really true? Chu Meng, don't you trust me? I've offended the Black Dragon Chamber of Commerce for you. Think about it. He's a prison guard from a small town with no power or influence. How could he get on the Xiang Group's big boat? So that's what happened, huh? I thought he was a fish out of water. I'm sure it was Chi Denxian did it. Chiu Mo, you probably don't know only a man like Chi Denxian could have taken over the Sounds Group project so easily. But you couldn't find out on your own. I won't tell you. Mr. Zhang, your Zhang Group is about to blow up, isn't it? If I were you, I'd have taken the money and ran, so as not to wait for those who were victimized by the Zhang Group. They'd come to your door to take revenge. They'd tear you apart. What the hell are you talking about? Our Jang Group has a market value of $2 billion. It can't just collapse soon. If you keep talking nonsense, I'll sue you for libel. Then answer me, Mr. Jang. Why is the project contract you beg for in my hands? It must be because you're just a small employee of the Shang Group. And Lei Ji happens to know you're the Chao family's son-in-law. So he asked you to bring it to me. Chu Meng, you gotta believe me. Don't you know how I treat you? I've offended the Black Dragon Chamber of Commerce for you. Chiu Mong, Mr. Zhang is right. A few days ago, he wants you to meet a big person from the capital. It's weird to find a man who can give you his heart. Mr. Zhang, I trust you. The autumn grasshopper won't last much longer. Mr. Zhang, ignore him. He's paranoid. He likes to daydream every day. Your family is a big family. How could it close down? Keep an eye on Mr. Jang for me in the next couple days. I'm afraid he'll jump over the wall like a hungry dog and do something out of the ordinary. Okay, Mr. Chi. I will be your best informant. Chi <laughs> Dengxian, bad news. Zhang Xiaojie invited Chiu Mong out. I've called her a dozen times, but I couldn't get through her. After this year, your money will be cleaned out. Get ready. You can go abroad and have a good time. 
Thank you, Mr. Kang. I never thought I'd be invited to Xu Ao Shui and get a piece of the action in Chonghai. I can't believe I met such a stunning beauty. Get out of here. You want to join me? Oh, no, 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 no. Mr. Kang, I'm leaving now. Take your time. Chi Deng Shan. Chi Deng Shan, you little punk. How dare you hurt me? Where's Chu Meng? Release quickly. I'll get someone to chop you up. I'm gonna give you one last chance if you don't tell me again. You'll never say it again. <laughs> I'll say it. I'll say it. She's in Mr. Kang's room. Chi Deng Shen, how dare you hurt Mr. Kang? He's the third young master of the Kang family, one of the top five families in Hua Kingdom. Now kneel down and apologize to Mr. Kang. Mr. Kang may spare you. Xiang Chaoche, you're very capable. You're deceiving Chu Meng while you're going to sell her for money. Why? To make it easier for the Jiang family to get away? Mr. Kang. Mr. Kang. Are you all right? Ah, Mr. Kang. Let me tell you something. He's the Chi family's son-in-law. He's nominally Chu Meng's husband, but they never even held hands. I know him. He was a young member of the Qi family. Qi Deng Shan. He's the one who's engaged to Yu Xiaolong. Did I hear you right? He's engaged to General Yu? You don't have to be so shocked. He and his father have been expelled from the Qi family. Precisely. How could he be with General Yu? He was kicked out a long time ago. Only you, Mr. Kang, are good enough for her. Hmm, I really don't understand. What's the point of honoring a woman like Yu Xiaolong? Why does she have a bunch of lick spittles like you? Chi Deng Shan, do you still think you're the young master of the Qi family? You don't even deserve to lick Yu Xiaolong's shoes. How dare you hurt me? Yes, if you're smart, hurry up and apologize to Mr. Kang, like a dog lying down on the ground. Kang Shui Chen, right? I advise you not to dream of autumn again. Otherwise, I'm afraid you won't be able to return to the capital. I'll give you two choices. First, break the hand you just hit me with. Then use your other hand. Take off your wife's clothes. Stand quietly on the side and watch how I have sex with your wife. <laughs> Mr. Kang, you're too kind and generous. Chi Deng Shen, Mr. Kang has given you such a favorable offer. Why don't you kneel down and be grateful? I'd like to hear the second option. Second, if I say a few words, I'll have your limbs broken. I'll make you and your father, the two losers, lose your job as prison guards. And by the way, after I've had my fill of Chao Chu Meng, I'll bankrupt the Chao family, and I'll sell them all into slavery in the South Seas. These two choices don't sound that good, right? You need to think about it. If I were you, I'd take off Chao Chu Meng's clothes right now, and dedicate her to Mr. Kang. <laughs> Chi Den Shan, Chi Den Shan. You've always been so arrogant. But when you see Mr. Kang, you would still have to keep your tail between your legs. <laughs> Chi Deng Shen, you're such a fucking cuckold. And now you're stripping your wife and giving her to me? What choices does he have? Now, he's not the fiancé of the General Yu. He's also not the young master of the Chi family. He's just a small prison guard. He can only tremble when he sees Mr. Kang. Hey, Zhang Xiaoqia, I've been putting up with you for a long time. Chu Meng treats you as a good friend. How dare you try to plan a rebellion on her? You were heartless. You betrayed Chu Meng and even tried to hurt her to curry favor with the bigwigs. You're unrighteous. You cheated Uncle Chao, Auntie Pang, and all the Chao family's assets. You don't respect the elders. You're unfilial. Your company is in bad turnover. You don't think about how to revitalize the company. You just want to run away with the money. You're unfaithful. People like you, you're heartless, unrighteous, disloyal, and unfilial. How can you talk in front of me? Chi Deng Shan. What the fuck is the point of your speech, huh? You think you can slap Zhang Xiaoqi in the face? I'll be afraid of you? You're still too damn young to shock the tigers. Don't you dare lay a finger on me. I'm not trying to scare you. Break one of your hands, then I'll spare your life. 
I'm not scaring you. Cut off your hands now. I'll spare you life. Ji Dangxiang, let him go. I didn't realize you were such a person. It's not enough that you were jealous of him. And you are hitting him? What kind of man are you? Of course I was right to hit him. He deserved it. Do you know, Mr. Zhang helped me to secure the CEO position of our group. How much effort he put on me? Do you know, he made the Black Dragon Chamber of Commerce compromise with me? How much did he pay for this? <laughs> Ji Dai Shan, you're such a fucking loser. Even your wife is so disgusted by you. What's the point of you living now? Why don't you jump out of this fucking window? Can you do it? I won't bother you anymore, okay? Don't listen to him. I was a little harsh. Don't get upset. My patience is limited. I'll spare your life if you break your hands. Chu Ming, that's the young master from the capital. I'd like to introduce you to him. Mr. Kang of the Kang family. You were too tired just now. I just put you to bed for a nap. Chi Deng Xian just came in. He might have misunderstood. Uh, not only did he beat me up, he also beat up Mr. Kang. Chi Deng Xian, as my husband, not only can't you help me, you're always getting me into trouble. Do you think Mr. Kang is someone you can offend? Who is he? I can't afford to mess with him. You little bastard. If you keep arrogant, we'll slap you to death. Ah! Since you won't do it yourself, I'll help you. Chi Deng Shan, are you crazy? How dare you break Mr. Kang's hand? <laughs> Mr. Kang, are you alright? He... He didn't do it on purpose. He just got impulsive. I apologize on his behalf. We'll treat your injuries and pay for them. Who the hell are you? You apologize to me. If you hurt me, Chi Deng Xian, I'll have the Chao family dead with me in 24 hours. Ji Deng Xiang will die. The Jiao family will die. Ah, since you're so eager to die, I'll give you a hand. Ah, ah. Mr. Kang, from now on, please remember who you can mess with and who you can't. Chi Deng Xian, yeah? I reckon you got guts. Not only did you hurt me, but you insulted me. I hope, I hope that when our Kang family comes, you're still so tough. That'd be humiliating. Mr. Kang, it's not like that. You, you've misunderstood. Misunderstood? What happened today? I'll write it all down. If I don't ask you to pay you back a hundred times, I won't be called Mr. Kang. Okay, your Grandpa Chi is waiting for you. You little bastard. I'll show you how much you'll pay for offending me. Ah, not bad, huh? Ah! You're a tough guy. I'll be waiting. Mr. Chi, you're a man of your word. Don't involve Chu Ming. Involve? Anyone who gets involved with him, I'll make sure he's dead. If you dare stick your head out again, I'll chop you up. Major Domo Kang. Come here now. The Kang family is Major Domo Kang. Shang Rong, Mr. Kang, do you really want him to come? Nonsense! Ah! Sky's about to change in Zhanghai. General Yu, I've just received a message from the Kang family in the capital. It says they're going to execute Ji Dangxian. They're going to kill the Tiao family. Let's go. Isn't it worth it to offend the Kang family for him? I'm ashamed to break the engagement. Unilaterally. Besides, I promised to help him with three things. He's a tough guy. He won't talk to me. So I can only take the initiative to help. But you're up against the Kang family, Kang Xiaorong. I don't think it's necessary to offend the Kang family for Ji Dangxian. General Yu, are you in love with Ji Dangxian? Even if a man could marry me, he must be a man like the eternal night monarch, Chu Wudao. A man who can stand up to the heavens and the earth. Do you have to marry Mama to this loser? Ji Dangxian is not only a loser, he's also a troublemaker. He messes with the Black Dragon Chamber of Commerce. And he messes with a big shot in the capital, Mr. Jiao. What should we do? Oh! Ji Dangxian, you're satisfied now? You'll have all the Jiao family buried with you. You're happy now, aren't you? Uncle Chao, Auntie Pang, and Chu Meng, don't worry. I'm a man of my word. I'll handle Kang Shi Chen. Handle? What are you going to handle him? You're just a prison guard. It's just a toad trying to eat a swan. You don't want to return us. You've ruined the Tiao family. I can't believe you. You're a white-eyed wolf. It was Kang Shui Chuan who was plotting against Ming Ming. That's why I took action. How dare you argue? 
Mr. Kang was introduced by Mang Mang by Mr. Chang. You mean that Mr. Chang had bad intentions? Divorce with him! Please, with the divorce with Mama. This may give the Chao family a chance to catch some breath. It's useless, Mom. Mr. Kang already spoken. He won't let Xi Dan Xian off. He'll make us all die with him. Even if I get a divorce now, it's just adding insult to injury. Mr. Kang won't show any mercy. You little brat. You are here. Xiao Guo Tao, your family has brought ruin in the entire Chao family. Did you know that? Xiao Guo Tao, what are you going to do about this? I heard that the Kang family's private jet has landed in Zhonghai. Xiao Chu Meng, as the CEO of the Chao group, she has caused such a big trouble. You should commit suicide immediately to calm the anger of the Chao family. That's right. You and your wife should commit suicide immediately to apologize. We'll take your bodies to the airport and kneel to beg the Kang family for forgiveness. That way, there might be a way out for us. <laughs> My daughter's life's so miserable! Xiao Guotao, I'm so screwed to marry with you! Suicide to apologize is too much, isn't it? It's just a Kang Shui Chuan. Is it worth you raising a big rumpus? Besides, I told you, I'll solve this. You? Solve this? Kang Shui Chuan has called in a deputy major domo of the Kang family from the capital. Do you know who the deputy major domo is? Kang Sheng Rong. Kang Sheng Rong, the one who broke many families. He's in charge of the Kang family's secret affairs. No one who is targeted by him ends up well. I've never heard of him. Who's that little man? Xi Danxian, can you stop talking? We're all going down. I'm sorry, everyone. It's all my fault. Thanks, Shen. Although you've caused a lot of trouble for our Chao family, but your father entrusted you to me. Now, if you can, run away. Run? He can't run. He's the one who caused the trouble. Chi Deng Shen, go die now. Commit suicide as an apology. Maybe the Kang family will let us go. Chi Deng Shen, are you ready for your own death? I guess you don't care what I told you. I told you, if you dare to stick your head out again, I'll chop you up. I hope that you'll still have your strength when you meet Major Domo Kang later. If you don't know how to write the word death today, I won't be called Mr. Kang. Kang Shang Rong of the Kang family is here to claim your life. <laughs> here comes! Demon has really arrived! Major Domo Kang. It's a great honor to have you here today. The third young master is too generous. I can't afford it. Seems that I haven't really been out for many years. I can't believe somebody dares to hurt the young master of the Kang family. Mr. Kang is the Chao family's fault this time. If you have any demands, just ask. I only hope that you let the Chao family live. Mr. Kang, this is all my fault. If you have anything to do with me, just come at me. I drugged you. A chance to get into Kang family is good graces. It's a pity that your husband doesn't appreciate it. So he really tried to save me. But what's the point of knowing that? Ji Danxian is too impulsive. We can't mess with a big family like the Kang family. It's either force or drugs. Hey, do you guys think big bowls of lasagna don't taste good? Do you think that eating rice in prison sounds good? You! What are you looking at? How dare you! Kneel down! Why don't you kneel before me? Quasi-master, you have good eyesight. You're the loser who hurt my third young master, Chi Deng Shen. Kneel down! You want to get our family killed? Deng Shan, if you are patient in one moment of anger, you will escape a hundred days of sorrow. There's no need to confront the Kang fam. Kneel down. Maybe there's a chance of survival. Ha ha ha. Kneel down. Kneel three times and bow nine times to me. Maybe if I'm happy, I'll let you guys go. Chi Deng Shan, you're the one who caused all the trouble at first. You should be able to take the blame. Kneel down. Kneel down. Kneel down. Old man, I think you're the one who's a loser. Xiao Guotao, look at your son-in-law. He won't be happy until our family is destroyed. Surrender or die. 
Don't say our Kang family is a bully. And don't give you a chance. Now I'm giving you a chance, and I hope you'll cherish it. Don't let me down. Don't you care about your wife, Chao Chu Meng? I want you to take off your clothes in front of everyone. Take off your clothes and crawl over to my shoes like a dog. My good daughter, listen to Mr. Kang and do what he says. It's better to lose your honor than your life. You want to see a woman? Go home and watch your mom. You got a foul mouth. I think you really want the Chow family to die out. Mr. Kang, if I can satisfy you, can you let my family go? That depends on my mood. Right? Child, you can't. I'll give you one more chance, or else. I don't care if you're the Kang family's young master. Take off your goddamn clothes. Crawl around a Chow mansion like a dog three times, then come back and apologize to us. <laughs> and this Deputy Major Domo, I don't like him either. Cut off his goddamn hands. In that case, I'll make sure you leave the Chow family alive. Who the hell are you? How dare you ask me to cut off my hands? When I was shaking the whole world, you were still breastfeeding in your mother's womb. Chi Deng Shen, do you still think you're the young member of the Chi family, right? You're a fucking no good prison guard. How dare you talk to me like that? You even told Major Domo Kang to cut off his hands. I just want to give you a chance to live. I drugged your wife and prepared to sleep with her. It's her honor. You shouldn't have come out to stop me. I'm a member of the Kang family. What I say is the truth and the law. If you break it and try to resist, you're breaking my law. Chao Chu Meng, take off your clothes now. Are you sure you want me to give the order and destroy the entire Chao family? I'm sure. You're looking for death. The King of Hell may not even accept me if I want to die. Ha! Huh. Major Domo Kang is here. If anyone dares to lay a finger on me, I'll let him. Stop your hand. If you touch third young master, I'll make the Chao family bleed to death. As for your life, I'll fucking take it. Chi Den Xian, let me Sir Kang now. I'll do as he says. Do you think I've touched him? It's all over, you little bastard. You're going to ruin the Jiao family's future. Are you okay? If I touch him this way, young man, my patience is limited. Drugged my wife, let Chao family die with me. It's my wife's pleasure to be bullied by you. Let me put up with it. I wouldn't even fucking yell at her. How dare you bully her? Kill me if you fucking dare. If you don't kill me, I'm gonna watch your whole family die. Taking our master hostage, such a mean ass trick. Put down the third young master if you have courage. Okay, now I'll give you a chance. See what you can do to me. Butler Kang, I'm gonna kill him. Grab him, break his limbs. I'm gonna kill him myself. Yes, third young master. Your chow family. All the men will be sold to South Seas to be slaves. Torture them to death. All the women stay. We divide the good ones. As for the bad ones, also sell the fucking Nanyang as slaves. All is gone. The hard work of our ancestors is all ruined by this bastard. Sir, are you ready to die? General Yu is here. Who dares to strike? General Yu? Yu Xiaolong, what are you doing here? Didn't you already kick this looter? What are you all doing on your knees? This is not a feudal society. Stand up! This guy got into a big trouble. Now even General Yu joined his involved. Now he was afraid. Piece of shit. Who can stand it? Can't you understand me? Today's event, so much for it. General Yu, this is against the rules. So much for today, General Yu. Look at me like this. You let this matter rest, General Yu? They're so unreasonable to do things. Why don't you tell me how to do things? You were wrong in the first place. You deserve to be beaten. If word gets out about this, you Kang family don't look good either. And I said it was over. Who dares obey that? The ones who obey, just you wait. You want to protect this screw-up and Chao family? I won't oppose. 
But if this beast dares offend me again, I must not forgive him, even if the god helps him. I am the person of Kank family. Our reputation is damn precious. Go! Thanks to General Yu for upholding justice for us. Thank you for General Yu. Without General Yu's kind help, this time, our Zhao family should have been broken. After that, we mutually do not owe, and hope that we don't have any relationship forever. The screw-up is related to General Yu unexpectedly. Ding Shen was once the master of Chao family. He had a story with General Yu. But... But what? Uncle Chao, you can say everything. I was refused to get married with her. Ah, you're also a poor man. Is it real that I was once too bad for you? But one day, the man who was scored by General Yu, why shouldn't I accept him? Stop! What happened? I have saved your valuable life without any gratitude. If you didn't come so timely, Kang Xiechun and Kang Xiangrong would have been dead men. I know you had joined the Xiang Rook, but persuade you. Don't think something boring. Keep your own domain and live a good life. Is it not excellent? What is it you really want to say? Just with you. Everything will be not changed. Don't struggle for exerting yourself in front of me. Is it very boring and naive? Oh, I don't know why you feel superior. Do you think I helped the Shang group just for opposing you? You think too much. I just want to finish my promise. Bao Xue is my friend. I will help her. If you don't give up, you don't blame me for hurting you. You are so arrogant. But your heart is kind. I remind you that Xu Ao Shui has offended me once. Let her roll back Imperial Capital immediately. Don't covet the Shang group anymore. Look that, you have great confidence in yourself. And you also should keep away from this thing. I'm afraid your Yu family will lose too much at that time. Can't stand up in the city, if you still want to insist it. Don't complain about your failure for me. Okay, I will wait for you. I will leave Zhonghai for a while and return to Imperial Capital, raising the fun from Yu family. At that time, I want to know, under the enormous pressure, what can you do? Welcome all entrepreneurs from Zhonghai to participate in the banquet of the Xiang Group. In order to promote the development of Zhonghai's major companies, we, the Xiang Group, hold this evening banquet to establish a league of Zhonghai's entrepreneurs. Mi Xiang, Jingdu, Xu Aoxue comes without invitation. I think Mi Xiang will not complain that. Unbelievably, she is Xu Aoxue, who is from Jingdu Xu family. She is a famous iron lady in business. Oh, you are an honored guest from Jingdu. Everybody is our guest. Please sit down. Establishing a Zhonghai's Entrepreneur Alliance is a good thing for Zhonghai undoubtedly. But for the leader of the alliance, what does Miss Xiang think? Ah, Mr. Wang, how about you? Of course, it is led by our Human Group. We, Human Group, is one of the best and largest enterprises in Zhonghai. Except, our Human Group who will have enough qualification. Everyone believe that? In my view, the Xiang group actually has no qualification to the leader. In Zhonghai's business, human group is well observed first. Xu Aoxue overly supports the human group. The Xiang group is in danger. She can't determine the life or death of the Xiang group. If she can't, who can? Getting Miss Xiang's appreciation is actually well done. But you don't consider yourself as a biggie. The position of the leader must be suited for the skilled person. But we the Xiang group has confidence in being a bellwether. Miss Xiang desires the leader of the alliance so much. Our Xu family is willing to give up the competition. Jingdu, Xu family, Yu family, Longman group and its affiliated human group totally raised 80 billion funds. From now on, establishing the Entrepreneur Alliance supports the development of Zhonghai's companies. I urge everyone should leave without hesitation. Everyone, if you dare join the Xiang Group Alliance, you are obviously against us. Both sides are clearly in balance. The value of the Xiang Group is just worth 10 billion. Mi Xu can handle them with countless money. Everyone here is not idiot. Maybe the Xiang Group will be eaten like a little fish. It is not certain who will lose. Miss Xiang, I suddenly think that there is something unsolved in my company. I'll be leaving now. Miss Xiang, my wife is about to give birth. I must go to the hospital right now. Huh. It's so lively today. How can I, Chao Hei Long, be left out? I am Chao Hei Long, representing the Black Dragon Chamber of Commerce. I am going to inject tens of billions to the Xiang Group. Chao Hei Long, are you sure you want to go against General Jade? How dare I go against the Jade God of War? This ten billion 
is a gift of me, Zhao Heilong, to the second master. Hello, second master. Zhao Heilong unexpectedly showed so much respect to Ji Danxian. Wasn't him at the beginning who let the Zhao family go for the sake of Ji Danxian? Ji Danxian, this is your tram card. I know there are some powers behind you, but it's not enough for me. A mere 10 billion is not enough to save the Xiang group. Black Dragon Chamber of Commerce also wants to bluff us. Don't you know Longman is standing behind the Human group? Xiang Dongqing, if you don't have any other cards, I will kill you for sure. President Zhao, can you come and help my Xiang group? It was a pleasant surprise, but my trump card is never anyone else but him. I only represent myself to inject 10 billion dollars into the Xiang group. Ji Dangxian, where did you get so much money? Anyone can brag. I also said I could inject 1 trillion dollars. You can actually check it on your mobile phone. Someone really injected 10 billion to the Xiang group. Even so, he's just on the same level as me. The powers behind me are more than one that the Xiang group can hold a candle to. For such an interesting thing, how can our Yu family are devoid of Ji Danxian? You can get 10 billion dollars. I'm really surprised, but that's not enough. I will say the same thing. Wanting to be my Yu Xiaolong's man, you'll never have me. You're still as shameless as before. Please rest assured, this time our Yu family will never pay a penny. I, Yu Xiaolong, only represent myself in support of the development of human group. That's the youngest general in Hua Kingdom. Yu Xiaolong is an influential individual. Even in the world, she actually supported human group. She is among the most popular young generations in the Hua Kingdom. Who here dares to disobey her? We'll lose. When will I be able to become a woman like General Yu? I'll be content even if I die. Ji Danxian, did you see? You will never be good enough for me. Don't try to prove anything, even if you have 10 billion. So what? I'll still look down on you. You want to compare backgrounds with me, right? I'm thinking that I'm second master of Undercity Prison. I'm not bad at all. Wait a minute for tea, sir. Don't tell me. You can turn the tide. Hello, Hello Second Master. Master. God of Killing represents the God of Killing organization to inject 10 billion US dollars into the shop. The Greedy Wolf Group to invest 10 billion US dollars. Second Master, all my money is yours. Just give me the number. This, this is the God of Killing, the King of World Assassins, and Greedy Wolf, King of Mercenaries in the World. And there was once the world's richest man, Li Jingshan. Like to introduce myself. My name is Chi Deng Shan. I'm the second in command of Undercity Prison. They are all prisoners in my prison. I'm in a good mood today, but I'd like to take them out for a walk. Master Jade, how about it? Am I okay in terms of background? If he is still the Ji Danxian I know, I was being so pretentious. I once thought he was not good enough for me. The truth is that I'm not good enough for him. I'd like to show something to Lord Jade. The person who lives in Yu Ding Havilin Palace is really you. You've been always fooling me. His physical techniques are above the Grand Master. <laughs> How can he be like that? A female war goddess. Isn't that amazing? If I take action, the whole world will dance for me.